Y'all, I really don't have much to say because last night's episode was very sleep inducing. And I literally, like, damn near fell asleep on the whole damn episode. It was just that boring and just that sleep inducing. It was just that, you know, whack. And, you know, I really don't have that much to say. This video is probably going to be very, very, very short. And, you know, this is not me going back into my depressive stage, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I ain't got no energy right about now, it's because I ain't got shit to talk about on this weak-ass show. It ain't nothing for me to talk about. But before I get into the video, because I really want to just do this video and wrap it the fuck up and keep it moving, because this show is boring as a motherfucker. And I am so ready for it to be over. And we're in episode 9 now, and I think that we have about five or six episodes left because it's 15 episodes in all I believe so I think we got about 15 it's, like, it's going to be like 15 episodes in all because they just wrapped up filming for the show not too long ago probably like a few weeks ago and I think at the end of this month they'll be filming the reunion for the show so I'm really ready for this to be over and I'm ready to move on to Love and Hip Hop Atlanta basically you know what I'm saying because this shit is whack I'm really not here for it it's just whack as fuck so it is what it is but, um, ugh, whatever, yeah. Um, yeah. So, let's get into the video. Um, before I, wait, wait a minute, before I get into the video, I forgot to shut them out last week, and I'm going to shut them out this time. I want to spend a special shout out to the Love and Hip Hop fan page. The Love and Hip Hop fan page on Twitter is Love and Hip Hop Fans. www.twitter.com slash love in with the letter N, Hip Hop Fans. Um, they always support me. They always be ready for my videos all the time, and I just love them. So, make sure you shut them out. I mean, make sure y'all follow them or whatever, because they are, they, they are, pretty cool and they be posting my videos sometimes so um you know do what it do with that but I ain't got really I ain't got much to say if this video was more than 10 minutes that means that's because of my rambling right about now but I ain't really got that much to say because it's whack um the show starts off with Rich visiting Olivia and he's basically there to get get and I told you so because Olivia tried to let him know that Ratchika wasn't on his radar and that he didn't need to be with her and he didn't need to be working with her and she basically kept it real with his ass she didn't hold back with his ass at all and she decides that she wants to take the Where Do I Go record from Erica and record it just to be dirty. And I'm just going to say this. You didn't even want the record at first, but now you, now that Erica has it, you want to take it to stir some shit up. It's kind of funny, but yeah, petty and childish at the same time. But, you know, it is what it is. Jen the Pen, Tahiri, and Wendy Thomas decide to have drinks. And the topic of discussion is who? Rocky. And I must say that these three bitches get on my nerves. Jen Tahiri and Wendy Thomas. And I'm going to tell you why. I don't even like Rocky. I don't like Rocky at all. I haven't liked Rocky from the very beginning. I can honestly feel like she's one of the wackiest um, personalities on the whole show. However, for her to be so whack, she got all these bitches mind. All they ever do is sit down and talk about this bitch 24-7. It's like, what is she doing? They got these hoes so fascinated and obsessed with her name and keeping it in their mouth like I don't even understand it and I just I just wish they would stop talking about her ass because they already don't like her so I don't understand why they're talking about her so much you know what I'm saying like why are you talking about her if you don't like her you know they have drinks you know um Jen basically tells them the story about what happened between her and Rocky when they met up um, to talk about the whole Hot 97 interview and then, you know, she basically told him what happened with that and, you know, Rashida was kind of shocked that she said what she said but then Jen turns around and, and decides to be the messy, weak bitch that she is and tell Wendy Thomas what Rocky said about her. So now she got Wendy Thomas all riled up and now Wendy wants to go and check folks like she always try to do. So, you know, and my, and you know, Tahiri is just loving all of it and, you know, they all calling Rocky miserable but all three of y'all hoes are miserable. You know what I'm saying? Not three of y'all hypocrites to me. Like, I don't like Rocky. I don't like Tahiri. I don't like Jen. I'm indifferent to Wendy Thomas because I really want to like her, but she really turned me off last week with that Yandy shit. But all three of y'all, all y'all ever do is talk about Rocky, especially Wendy Thomas because she don't really know Rocky like that, but she just hates on Rocky so much and it's partially because of Tahiri. She don't like Rocky because of Tahiri and I can't stand bitches like that who dislikes somebody because the next bitch do. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that? Mm-mm. I don't like it. But whatever. 
So, um, L'Oreal and Tista Queen, they decide that they're going to do a record together. And he has a line that says something about light skin is the right skin and all your white friends or something. And L'Oreal has some type of, you know, opinion about that. She doesn't like the line. Now, I feel like as a rapper, if you don't want to say a certain line in your song, you shouldn't have to no matter who's writing it. And it just felt like Consequence really wasn't trying to hear what she had to say. So, later on, L'Oreal talks to Rocky about the record and Rocky basically tells her her about her experience with the whole consequence situation about how his girlfriend basically told her that she would get the job because she white and then you know she feels like that line is slick racist too and she feels like L'Oreal shouldn't go along with it and L'Oreal feels like she shouldn't because that goes against what she believes in so later on she talks to cons consequence she talks to Tita Sequence about it, and they basically have an argument about it, and he's not budging, he's not trying to hear anything she has to say. He feels like the line should be kept in for controversy, but she doesn't want to say the line because she doesn't want to upset any potential fans. And, you know, I really do get what L'Oreal is coming from, and I get where Tita Sequence is coming from. You know, when you're doing a song, you want to get people talking. You know, as a writer, I understand. You want to get people talking. You want to get, you know, people's tongues wagging. You want to get attention. You know, as a writer that's what you want to do you want to get the people talking but as an artist you may not want to upset people you may want to make the conscious decision to not upset anyone any potential fans you want to get all the fans you can get especially when you starting off so you don't want to offend nobody so I get both sides so I just think that teeth sequence wasn't trying to hear anything that L'Oreal was trying to say because L'Oreal basically understood what he meant but he wasn't trying to understand her and I just felt like you know that's why his relationship with Jen is always on the rocks because he's not trying to he's not trying to compromise with anything so so that was basically it with that. So Yandy basically talks to me in DC is about the situation with Wendy Thomas and she basically lets him know that she that he needs to check his bitches and she's tired of hearing about things from the past. And then DC's basically said that he's all about her and their son and their family and getting married and moving in together and he doesn't give a fuck about hoes from the past. Whatever he did in the past is in his past. But you know, he kind of understands why where Yandy is coming from but Yandy basically said that she doesn't want to hear about shit that, that came up in his past. She really don't give a damn about what happened in his past. She just want to go out and have herself a good time and she don't want to be bothered with bitches from the past and you can't really be mad with her for saying it because I don't want to be bothered with somebody from my past. You know, you know going out and hearing hearing different shit about a bitch from you know hearing a bitch from your past and the bitch come trying to check me about some shit, some shit that you said I don't want to be going through that either so I kind of understood that so Rich and Mama Jewel talk and she basically you know feels like Olivia shouldn't get the record from Erica because she already because Erica already did the song and you know she still thinks that Rich should get away from Erica because of the shit that she sees in the blogs and you know I like I said I love Mama Jewel I think that she should be a cast member just like Mama D and just like uh, Mama Jones was I love love Jewel. Like, that is my bitch. Like, she be giving Rich the tea. And I love her. But that's all I really have to say about this thing. So, at this so-called upscale classy event when it look, with a bunch of hood rats in, in attendance, because that's what it looked like to me, Rashida arrives, and this is the same event that Rocky is supposed to be attending as well. So, as soon as Rocky walks through the door, Rashida pulls Rocky to the side and basically wants to talk to her about what she heard from Jen. And my whole thing is, you know, it's, it's, I don't like Rashida's approach to a lot of situations. Like, I feel like... You know, it's okay to approach somebody, but I just feel like she be wanting some conflict. She want to be portrayed as the bad bitch. She want to be portrayed as the gangster bitch. She want to be portrayed as this. She want to be portrayed as somebody that puts bitches in a place. I mean, that's not really all that cute in my opinion. I just don't think that, you know, it's always, you always got to go bad bitch on somebody just to get your point across. You really don't have to do that. Like, if you really want to get your point across and you want to, if you really want a bitch to, you know, get checked for what the fuck they said, check them. But it's a way you can do it. You don't have to always get hood with a motherfucker all the time because I had to learn that shit myself. Like, every time you got to check somebody, you ain't got to always, bitch, I heard you say, you ain't got to do all that all the time. You know what I'm saying? But that's what she wants to do all the time. And what is all of this? Is this all that um, Rashida can say about Rockies that she lay down and that she open up her legs? And she do lay down and open up her legs. What's it to you? What is it to you? I mean, bitch, you look like a damn double stack meal. I mean, I mean, you look like a fucking double stack combo, but ain't nobody complaining about that. You know what I'm saying? You look like motherfucking 
the you know Wendy Wendy Thomas, but ain't nobody complaining about that. So why are you going on on her ass because she want to open up her lips and give up her pussy for the free? That's her business. If she want to give up her pussy for the free, that's her business. What what's it to you? Because that's all you ever say about her. Like even before you met Rocky, that's what you were saying, and you only dislike her because of. Tahiri. And I just feel like y'all bitches is haters. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be ridiculed for saying that. But I don't. And, and I just have to say. I'm not Rocky's fan by, fan by any means. But I just think that these bitches really be hating on her. And really be trying to. You know. You know. I just. They so childish. Then speaking of that. T Rashida goes over to a salon. I guess where Tahiri is. And they talk about Rocky yet again, and you know they basically, be, you know, be, you know they act like a bunch of teenage girls talk about how they can give her a makeover and how they can give her this and give her that. And Rashida, you need a makeover. And to hear you need you need a dose of shut the fuck up, cause I'm really sick of you in your motherfucking mouth. I'm honestly sick of you, and you just loving the fact that all these bitches is hating on Rocky because you a hater yourself. But it is what it is. Uh -uh. I'm not feeling this shit. Yandy gives Erica real talk. Erica needs to know that, you know, what makes you think that Rich wanna work with you? As a manager, you know, Yandy basically gave her the tea. You know, if you want if you wanna work with Rich, you can't be going around booking shit without letting him know. They that's what managers are for. They are booking you so you can you know Basically, so you can um do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they're here for. You know what I'm saying? And for you to go around and do shit behind his back is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. I already talked about that. To hear his video shoot. Um, Joe comes and he basically wants to apologize and basically wants to make things right with Tahiri. And Tahiri is like, you know what I'm saying? Tahiri is basically going off on him and she's giving him another chance to prove himself to show and prove and this and that. I wish that they, they, Joe and Tahiri get on my nerves. Joe, if you want to be with Tahiri, just let Kayla go and just be with her. God damn. Like, y'all get on my nerves. Um, as for the last thing, Olivia sings Where Do I Go From Here in the studio. And I must say that Olivia killed that song. I'm sorry, but Olivia killed that song because Erica can't sing. But Olivia killed that song. You can feel the emotion. You can feel the pain. You can feel everything. Even my mama was feeling this shit, and she don't even like Olivia like that. Olivia sung the fuck out of it, and then after she did the song, Erica walked in to hear that, you know, he gave the song to Olivia, and, you know, her and Olivia have a couple of words before Olivia asks Richie, does he need some time, you know, need some minute, and, you know, Olivia gives him that minute. So that's when um, Erica goes off on um, Rich about giving Olivia the record, and Rich basically lets her know that he's basically over her and her bullshit, and that, you know, she needs to show and prove and show him that you know show him what time it is because she she you know she ain't doing what she's supposed to do like she ain't signed no contract she ain't did this she ain't did that and I just you know and you know I kind of feel where Rich is coming from like bitch you ain't doing what the fuck you supposed to do so how do you expect me to do you know you know do so much for you when you want me to and you're not even doing what you're supposed to do you got to sign a contract shit got to be legalized you ain't doing what you, what the fuck you're supposed to do now you want to sit up here and cry and shit and now you want to say you can't trust nobody bitch you ain't doing what you're supposed to do so as a manager this is business you ain't even got no motherfucking contract and you know at the time you know you ain't got no contract so why went so why would you keep the song you know what i'm saying like even though i feel like olivia shouldn't have did the song because I feel like she did it out of spite. But at the same time, this is a business decision. Ain't no papers being signed. The song is not legally yours. And that's just what it is. So, at the end of the day, he made the right decision for him and his business. With that being said, I'm done with this Love & Hip Hop video. Um, be sure to be on the lookout for my Bad Girls Club Atlanta video, which I will be doing tomorrow morning. And I know y'all don't like for me to talk about the haters. But I just have to say this. I had to block somebody because... It's always the same bitch always coming on every motherfucking video I, I drop. And they commented on my bitch, are you serious video? And I just had to block them. I wasn't going to do it, but they, it's becoming a fucking annoying. So I had to block them. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. And I will see y'all tomorrow morning. Peace.